The returning officer, RO, being overall in charge of a constituency during election, the following operations will be performed under his supervision and guidance. Each control and ballot unit has a unique ID number inscribed on a label and the label is pasted on the backside. This number should match with the ID number of the carrying case. These numbers are to be noted in registers or address labels. Some special materials like address tags and issue registers are also required during preparation of EVMs. The ballot paper which has RO's signature on its back is fixed in the ballot unit. The serial number of the ballot paper and the ballot unit are recorded in the issue register. Let us start with ballot unit. After taking out the ballot unit from the carrying case, open the top cover of the ballot unit. Open ballot paper screen, which is a transparent acrylic screen hinged to the top cover on the extreme left side. The release latches of the screen are inside the top cover. By pressing the latches simultaneously, the ballot paper screen will become free for opening on the upper side of the top cover. Place the ballot paper in the space provided for the purpose on the upper side of the top cover. Align the ballot paper properly so that each candidate's name and his or her symbol are in line with the corresponding candidate's lamp and button. After ensuring this alignment, close and press fit the ballot paper screen to secure the ballot paper firmly underneath that screen. Next, the unused candidate's buttons of the ballot unit are masked. Masking is a way of disabling by covering those buttons on the ballot unit that will not be used during the election. This is also electronically and mechanically locked. The sealing of the ballot paper screen is done by passing a thread through the two holes on screen specially provided for this purpose. The address tag showing the particulars of the election with RO seal is firmly tied to the thread with a wax seal. If more than one ballot unit is connected, the slide switch is set depending on the position of the ballot unit as explained earlier. These units will be connected in series through the connector housed in the connector box provided at the back side of the ballot unit. Then close the unit. Pass two threads, one through the three holes at the top and the other through the three holes at the bottom provided for the purpose and seal it. Now, let us see the setting up of control unit. Open the cover of the candidate set section of control unit. Install the power pack by mating the socket of the power pack to the plug. Ensure that power pack is pressed tight. Connect the ballot unit to control unit and switch on the power. Set the number of candidates. Then switch off the control unit. Separate BU and CU. After this, seal the candidate set button compartment with RO seal. Then close the candidate set section cover and seal it with RO seal. Finally, the ballot unit and control unit are put back in the respective carrying cases ready to be transported to the polling station.